When I think of Vietnam, I think of three things. The views. The food. And the people. We spent 72 hours exploring all of that and more in this episode of Spy. at the Philippine Airlines Mabuhay Lounge and in a few hours we'll be heading to the oldest capital city in Southeast Asia. My name is Kiko from spot.ph and I am excited for this trip. We are heading to Hanoi in Vietnam. to the International Cruise Port. We are headed to the world-famous Halong Bay on board the Ambassador cruise ship. Pretty excited about that. We spent a little over two hours on the road from Hanoi to the port. But as soon as we got there, Edgar was there to welcome us. Uh, my name is Edgar Kayanan, and I am the general manager of um, APC or the Ambassador Cruise in Halong Bay. Uh, Ambassador Cruise is one of the biggest cruise in Halong Bay. We have 46 cabins with the four types of category of the cabins. Number one, we have the 18 cabins on the first deck, which is we have 30 square meter per cabin. We call it deluxe cabin. On the second level or second deck, we have the uh, 21 cabins, include the four suites. We call it ambassador suites, and also we call also the uh, captain suites. Beside on that, the cabins, we call it premium cabins. And then on the fourth deck, we have the presidential suite and also we have the premium cabins as well. So total, we have 46 cabins including the presidential suites. We can accommodate about uh, 120 passengers. Halong Bay is, is the World Heritage Site. We have 1,553 square kilometers. Imagine how huge is Halong Bay. And beside on that, you'll see all this mountain. We have more than seven. 7,000 islets with the rock, different rock formations. This is why the tourists came is to see the beautiful uh, cruise in Halong Bay. One of the stops at the Ambassador Cruise is this vast area along Halong Bay. This is the Tang Sao Pearl Farm. Here, they harvest and grow pearls in the traditional Vietnamese way using Japanese techniques. Aside from growing pearls, it's also perfect for kayaking. Go we'll check it out. We climbed over 400 steps to reach the top of T-Top Island. This is where you can see a wonderful 360 view of Halong Bay. I mean, I can't lie. Seeing Halong Bay from the top was quite an experience. And by the time we were headed down, it was already sunset. Which pretty much meant that it was the perfect time to take a stroll along T-Top Beach at the base of the island. But after a long first day, it was quite a treat to come back to the ship for a hearty meal. For dinner, we were served their best seafood and steak, which we had over a selection of reds, whites, and everything in between. Soon enough, 
we were ready to call it a day. It's rare to wake up to the sight of huge silhouettes being swallowed by the morning sun. So there was nothing else left to do but to soak up the cool breeze in anticipation of our next destination. And for now, it's the Sangsat Cave. We are right inside Sangsat Cave, one of the largest caves here at Halong Bay. Now the name Sangsat loosely translates to surprise, which is pretty much how I felt as soon as I got inside this cave. You will just be in awe at the beauty of this natural wonder. It's amazing because this cave has been discovered by the French as early as way back in 1901, but they were able to preserve the pristine condition of the Sangsat Cave. After a long ride back to Hanoi from the port, I found myself walking on the streets of Old Quarter. This colorful neighborhood is teeming with history, life, food, and well, you can't go to Vietnam and not try the coffee. Egg coffee, to be exact. quarter in Hanoi is this hole in the wall, Cafe Gian. Now this place is where the famous Vietnamese egg coffee originated. They say that Mr. Nguyen Gian, who founded this place back in the 1940s, actually started the egg coffee culture here in Vietnam. Now right in front of me, we have two ways to enjoy your egg coffee. There's hot egg coffee and there's cold egg coffee. What they do is they whip up this mixture of egg, condensed milk, a little bit of sugar into this fluffy meringue-like texture which they pour into a cup and they add coffee in it. So here, we'll try the, the hot version. Oh, that is good. I mean, you don't taste the egg at all. It just tastes like regular cappuccino, pretty much. It's not sweet at all. And the coffee is pretty strong. I mean, Vietnamese coffee, come on, right? Pretty strong. the same coffee that got us up and early for our last day on the trip to Vietnam. And what better way to spend our final hours than to visit a temple. We are right inside the Temple of Literature here at Hanoi in Vietnam. This is one of the oldest structures here built as early as 1017. And this is one of the many temples here in Hanoi dedicated to the teachings of Confucius. People come here to pay respects, and uh, they have beliefs like, for example, where they go to the flamingo statue, rub its belly for prosperity, and rub the head of the turtle for clarity of mind. These are just some of the things that people come here for. And this area also hosts one of the oldest universities here in Hanoi. If you have time, when you visit Hanoi, come by the Temple of Literature. Have you spotted people, places, or food that you'd like us to feature? Well, send us an email at spotted at spot.ph. 
If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates.